Uh, there are also two ore boats out here out in the open waters. One of them you can probably see now. If you look off to our right, a slight angle ahead of us. What you can probably see most easily is a couple of what looks like white buildings right at the horizon. And in between them is the hollow boat. The first one, the one that's uh, more or less straight to our right, that's a thousand footer. It's headed the opposite direction that we are now. It's headed for the far end of the lake. There's another one out here. Uh, right now, it's more or less directly ahead of us. But as we turn here in a minute, you may see that one also. That's one of the older styles. Probably somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, about 700 feet long. Uh, when we get out here, we make our turn. Uh, well, first of all, when we're broadside of the waves up here, we may roll a little bit. Uh, shouldn't be that big a deal, but be ready for it. Also, I didn't realize earlier that some of you got kind of wet on the aft deck because the waves were nearly big enough to do that. Uh, oh, here they are. So when we turn, if you're on the very back end of the boat, there is the possibility that water is going to come up right across that aft deck. If you're okay with that, great. If not, step up the stairs or inside the cabin. Again, it may not happen, but uh, if the wave catches us just right, it's just wrong. Uh, we may get wet back there. Make that chart. We'll look for a fairly calm spot to do it. And when we do turn, I'll try to turn as quickly 